Well, hello everyone. This is the uh, Mark One 1963 Mark One Mini. Um, I've been having a bit of problems with the uh, wiper motor on this, so I just thought I'd show you um, the an innovative solution that I've come up with because I couldn't get the um, the correct parts to be able to to refurbish it. So here we are with the the motor and um, semi semi sort of stripped down, taken off the car. Um, this is just a standard. Um, simple uh, Lucas DR3A um, so nothing nothing special um, about this so the original problem was that the the wiper blades were actually not moving full stop so I've refurbished the the mechanism that pushes the wipers along um, and it wasn't that and then I've had a couple of goes at this mortar um, and then realized there's a, there was a couple of issues with it um, so it's all repaired now, um, but I'll show you what I've put in place to try to get around the unavailability of um, parts. Um, I, I'm not going to concentrate on sort of um, the refurbishing of the motor. There's lots of YouTube videos um, around with this on. I just want to show you a particular um, item that I've put in to deal with the retention of the of the, the bush at the end. Um, so maybe you can um, do that when you repair it if you can't get the same sort of parts that I had difficulty with. Strip the motor down, um, the, the little brushes that, that come that are in, the, in that little part there, they were, they were worn so they were almost scraping on the, on the commutator arm. So um, instead of ordering some from the mini site, I was a little bit, um, or a supplier, I was a little bit impatient. So what I just did, I went, um, to the local shops and sort of sourced some that were oversized um, and then basically just cut them down and, and filed them, clipped the clipped the, um, the back um, wires off, filed them down, um, chopped them about and then just made them fit into into the, the locations here. I had to drill a small little, little um, drill dimple in the back a little drill mark so i could need them fit them in okay but they've i've tried them and they they work okay now and um, i probably had to cut them down by about 50 50 percent um to get them in there but it wasn't a wasn't a difficult task i mean you can you can get these off the off the mini site it's just that i was too too impatient to really to really order them up and um and then wait for them. And the other thing was these were these were um, five dollars, which is the equivalent of what um, maybe three pounds in um, in the in the UK. So yeah, but bargain really. Um, so that that was that bit. Uh, the next bit that I did was um, now the end bush <clears throat> on this on this plate here. The bush that takes the end of the armature um, is held in with a one of these. Now I'm calling it a, a star thrust washer. Um, I don't know what the real name was. Um, but when I took the end plate off, one of the problems was that actually the armature was seized onto the bush. So this forced these these little stars, which were spiky outwards. So then I decided to take it out so I could get the bush out and of course um, it just disintegrated straight away. So I've been all over, I went all over the internet um, to try to find a replacement for that. Now I measured that on the vernier, vernier caliper, I measured that at 26.4 um, <clears throat> millimetres. Now they do do with 26.4 but the problem is... The central um, part here, there seemed to be a standard round about 12, 13 mil. The bush is almost as small as that, so I couldn't actually physically get one of these. I couldn't find one on any of the mini sites or any of the the the, the star washer suppliers. And I, I looked everywhere for two two days and just got, got a bit fed up about it, um, which is why I, I sort of decided to approach it in a different a different way so what i what i did and I'll, I'll show you the sort of finished article before i strip it down is um so simply the the bush inside once i've freed it up and everything um that's absolutely fine now on the armature the end of the armature 
um, but of course I needed to retain it um, in lieu of that existing existing thrust washer there so what I did was I manufactured a little a plate here a little uh, circle you probably would be able to find um, maybe a washer that you could use in lieu of that but actually I did this um, with a with a hole saw actually a metal hole saw and I used just like one millimeter thick um, mild steel that I had which I'd been using to to repair the bodywork on my um, on my combi um, so I cut that to the right size um, put two holes in it um, and then that was effectively going to be the, the the retaining element of um, of the solution so what I did then, I drilled two holes through, um, M5 holes through there, and then drilled and tapped um, two M, M4 holes with this, and then um, and put the two retaining screws through, right, drilled right through the, the end plate so they were sticking out, and then just cut and, and filed them off to make them look a little bit neater on, on the other side. Yeah, so I've, I've sort of stripped this this um, this little thrust washer that I've made made off there. I've took that off now. So basically, underneath it was this is this a bush bush arrangement, and that's just standard. I haven't replaced that. That wasn't worn. It was just seized onto the armature. So that sits on there nicely. You can see the um, the two M4 holes that I've I've drilled. Um, for the retaining screws and then the screws and this this little plate which you'll be able to see how how thin that is um so yeah i've assembled it back together and um tried it on the vehicle and and where it was stopping and starting before because the load that was on it is absolutely um perfect now so i'm just gonna um, put it back together now fit it to the car and hopefully it'll give me um it'll give me a few a few more years of, of trouble free motoring from that perspective and uh, I hope it's been helpful um, like I say there's plenty of there's plenty of um, videos on YouTube about how to refurbish these but I couldn't find anything um, specifically on this on this sort of thrust washer bush arrangement so I thought I'd share that with you anyhow hope that's been helpful um, goodbye for now safe motoring